welcome to episode 29 of Gears Tactics. I'm gonna jump right in and open the crates again. I said in the previous episode that I wouldn't do a lot of editing on screen, and that isn't gonna change. But I'm still gonna open up all my gear on screen so you can see when I get something like this, so that you immediately know why my grenades are doing so much more damage. Huh. Sweet. Uh, Sid, if you wouldn't mind, please. There we go. What, does she already have a... No, she doesn't. She's been using the standard frag grenades this entire time. Alright, what else did we get? Uh, so self-repair. At the start of your turn, this unit, unit heals 15% of its maximum health if this unit received damage during the most recent enemy turn. It's a pretty good turn, all things considered. That's a pretty good turn. Pretty good ability, all things considered, because that means that any damage you take, you're just going to... What's the new armor? Am I just blind? Um, it means that any damage you take is imme almost immediately just going to be negated. Oh, plus 20 damage and disrupt. Perfect. Alright. So, Gabe's skill points. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Group therapy level 2. Student healing skills have a chance of granting plus 100% additional health. Uh, so, when this unit uses the chainsaw attack ability, each ally heals 15% of their maximum health. When this unit uses its chainsaw attack ability, the ally with the lowest health gets 20% evasion for the turn. When an ally is down to killed, refresh this unit's group therapy. Uh, this unit is a group therapy skill. Hmm. Interesting. So command has a 7% healing. When this unit revives, a down unit this unit gets one action. Recovery patch. Heal target ally for 100 health at the end of your turn for three turns. Level up stim. That'll be good. So painkiller targets of your healing skills get 30% damage reduction. Recovery patch level 2 and level 3. What's this? So revved up. Once the unit kills an enemy, the chainsaw ability kill down is reduced by one turn. Teamwork, target ally down to kills an enemy. This unit gets one action to a maximum of two. Hmm. And high-powered shot. You know what? And we've been pretty good on healing, so I'm going to go for that one to help me get my chainsaw quicker. And that one just so I've got a damage boost um, ability. So, oh, there we, here we go. This is the, this is the, this is what I was talking about. It's only four, sorry, three side missions. It's only three side missions, not four like I expected because it's been going up every single set of side missions. We've had an extra side mission, uh, so, sorry, well, an extra, the number of side missions we've had to do has gone up. There we go. Uh, max one unit. Support class unavailable. Your skill cooldowns are decreased by one. Deploy one or more scouts. So I'd have to use, for that mission, I'd have to use a scout. The comm trucks has picked up distress call from two gears who are separated from your unit. Follow the attack comm signals and rescue them from their locust captors. So, um, disabling shots. So I can't disable over uh, uh, I can't, um, I can't dis disable overwatches in a normal way. I uh, will sight of any by area scout team, barely avoid getting trapped behind enemy lines during their escape. They spotted a valuable equipment chest, find the chest and retrieve its contest, con contents. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, so and you just can use grenade abilities or proximity mines. Oh, hold both control zones for three or more turns. Ooh, and I can't use grenade abilities or prox. Oh, that's going to be a, that's going to be a doozy. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the Marcella Spotlight mission. Since, you know, it's the only, yeah, I, I think you get it. It's, what's this? Oh, because he's got so many abilities, you actually have to scroll. Right. So, this is going to be the next mission. This is going to be an interesting mission, because every other time I've done a mission like this, I have used Gabe. That's right, Gabe, Sid. See, I've always used Sid for these missions in the past. So this is going to play very differently, especially since Marcella is a very close quarters combat uh, unit. Whereas Sid, while he was close quarters, he's got a, he had a bit of range with his Retro Lancer. Marcella has, well, a Nasher shotgun. 
she's an in-your-face kind of person. So, I believe that is a sniper. And that is a heavy. No, Vanguard. I don't know. Um, either way, there are people. Okay, so, we're on the high ground. Ooh, loading. There we go. Okay. So, skill cooldowns are decreased by one. Excuse me. So, there's a crate over there. There's a crate over there. I assume the last crate will probably be down near... Yep, all the way down there. Okay, so, and heavy, yep, and, uh, sniper. Yeah, so I don't have a single healer unit. Ooh. This is going to be an interesting mission, that's for sure. I'm wondering if maybe I should try and do a quote-unquote stealth mission. Well, that's immediately gone out. That's immediately out the window, given the fact that we've immediately run into... From what I can tell, three hammer burst drones. Yes, we have. All right. Uh. So. Okay. Let's see if we can't knock that down to two hammer burst drones. Right off the bat. Yep. There we go. Knock that down to two Hammerverse drones. One of the great things about Marcella, and especially the fact that I have cool I have reduced cooldowns. Oh, but that's Oh, I was gonna... Damn, that took... She took damage. Alright, well, let's use Jack to head over here. We can deal with this last hammer burst drone. We might take a bit of damage, but we can deal with him. I was about to say, let's go find out what's over there. One of them is a disciple. That is not a good thing. We cannot get hit by his poison cloud. Otherwise, there is a very good chance we are going to die. Just because we won't be able to do enough damage to... Okay. Alright, two disciples. Two disciples. Okay. Um. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking here, since, especially since we have reduced cooldowns, we just, to cover our backs, we just kill him. We reduce cooldowns. We got a, three turns. That's not great. Three turns isn't great. But, if we... Okay. Two Disciples in the entire area. That's better than I thought. Yeah, because, I mean, we've also got... You've also got to... You've also got to remember, as Marcella, we also have... Proximity Mines. Which, while not amazing... Are still grenades. Okay. Uh, I think we... I say we wait a bit before we try and pull that. This is a sniper. They're not going to do well in close quarters. So I say we wait just a, t a, mo a bit. Yep, there we go. There's that guy down. Okay. Uh, Jack. So yeah, the other case was up there. So Jack, do me a favor... Okay, uh, you know what, buddy? You should be perfectly safe there. Now, see, this is where I'm gonna have to, this is where I'm gonna have to pick up the, this is where I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit, just because. Oh, I can't use sprint. Oh, I can't get, okay, I'll just go there. Okay, there we go. He's come out of that little hidey hole he was in. Perfect. 
because mm, how big is the poison cloud? Although I do have grenades, I do have an aid. Unfortunately, will not kill him though. Knock him over. Knock him out of Overwatch. Will not kill him. Okay. Uh. Oh yep. Oh come on. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I don't actually care whether he's down or not. All right. Uh. Okay, I don't see any other units around. All right, Marce Marcella. Can you... I want you to start heading towards the second one immediately. Oh, yes, and I'm close enough to open this, for the open this first torture pod. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, there we go. Well, okay, no enemies we can see on the battlefield. Be Is that a zealot? It's a damn zealot. Oh, God damn it. All right, uh, grenade. Hold the, hold the stairs. Uh, oh, that's actually perfect position. Okay, uh, and the third crate was down there. Perfect. So, Jack, can you head to those stairs for me, please? There we go. Shouldn't you? The only one he might be in range of is the Zealot. There we go. Oh, God. Is he going to get... Sweet. Okay. Alright. Okay, I think we're all good. Alright, sweet, and then... Nade. And pop a reload. Okay. Move there. Jack. So I was gonna say, because you cannot tell me that there's no, yeah, no disciples down there. Okay, uh, have you got shots on 56%? That's still a pretty good shot. Shoot a target with full health, the shot gets a 100% damage bonus. He's got full health, I might as well use that. Oh, would you? That's so nice to see. Uh, can I, like, overwatch that area? Yep, let's overwatch that area. Perfect. Ah. Uh, I kind of figured that the, that that would miss, but it's still sad to see. There we go. That guy's dead. Uh, can I? How far can I eat that nade? Not far enough. Okay. What about if I? Oh wait, how much of a chance to hit you got normally? If I do that. I'll only get one shot off. Uh, I'll stuff it. Do that, do this. Okay. Nade. Okay. There we go, let's get this last guy out. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, where's the extraction point? Where we came in, so not close. <laughs> okay. Uh, I 
Alright, Jack, my good sir, just move as far that way and grab that crate. So, Tickers and a Zealot. That's... Oh, God. Okay, get up. Alright, uh... Proximity Mine. I don't like using Marcella for... Overwatches, but... Okay, Jack. Mm. No, you know what? Go, get down. As much as I'd like you to have that height advantage because you're a sniper, I need you to moving towards the car because enemies just keep spawning in waves from now on. Biggest problem are those tickers, granted. I don't know how much damage that zealot can do, so... There we go, one down. Okay. Alright, let's see how we do. There we go, he did get interrupted, perfect. Oh. Helpful. That has got to be one of the weirdest places a ticker could ever end up. 48% chance to hit. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Just make sure that these tickers don't bother us. There we go. There we go. Oh, and Jack. There we go. I think this mission is pretty much done. And in tw almost 20 minutes as well. We're getting faster. We're getting better at these. Well, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting better at these. If you guys are playing the game, I'm sure you're getting better at these as well. But from what I can tell, this isn't the most popular game. Which is unfortunate, because I think it's a... Uh, well, I think it's a very good game. I think it is a very good game, and I think that if we wanted a sequel or just more games like this, this game would probably need to be a lot more popular for that to happen. I'm not going to bother. There we go. So yeah, um, it's a good game though. It's very fun. Not only that, but it's got a new... A lot of games like this... I'm not going to say they're cookie cutter. Because they're not cookie cutter. None of them are cookie cutter. But some of them can be a bit routine. And this game, so far at least, while I won't lie, it is becoming a bit more routine as we, routine as we go along. Just because games like this, as they always do, get a bit routine after a while. Just because, well, they... There's only so many things they can do. Four unspent spilt skill points. That's really good. Maybe I'll add these guys to my army. Um, either way, it's a good game. I'm enjoying it. I hope you're all enjoying watching me. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.